Morning campers, welcome back. This weekend I got to test fly something very special. Stick around for the full video if you want to see my first impressions of the Flylight Aeros 9 wing. If you're in a rush though, here's a little spoiler. Holy moly this thing ships! Oh my god! Ground speed 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I can't stop smiling! Holy f***! <laughs> <Now. laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> Well done, no, I'm going to go put this away. Awesome. Wait. Okay. Got to get one of these. Get one of these. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm getting very so bombed. Oh, dear little fuck. Oh, hello. Ah. My name's. See oh. what I have to put up with? <laughs> it's, like, it's like being with children. It's like being back at school. <laughs> Leave me alone. I've got a test flight to do. Mate, enjoy it. I will do. See you in a bit. Right, bit of an exciting one this one. You might notice that my wings changed colour. It's not red, it's now green. Uh, the reason for that is it's not my wing. This is Ben Ashman's nine wing. He's been very, very kind enough to let me borrow it um, for a bit of a fly. So. I've not flown this wing before. This is genuinely my first impression. I don't know what's going to happen in the next half hour or so, but come with me and let's go and find out. Clear prop! Let's do some proper checks then. Controls. Put them free. Helmet is on. Oh, this is on. The last bit of advice that Ben gave me before he handed over his wing to me was make sure your helmet strap's done up tight. So I think that might be a sign of things to come. Talking of Ben, there's the man himself. This gentleman is Ben Ashman of Flylight Air Sports. He is the brains behind Flylight's range of sub 70 kilogram and SSDR flex wing aircraft such as the PB, the PB2, the Adam and my personal weapon of choice, the Flylight Bivy Bee. So a big thanks to Ben for making amazing fly machines that we can fly, and today for trusting me with his latest creation. Below 200 feet, it's a little bit squirrely. Once you get above 200, 300 feet, it's silky smooth. See you in a while. All right, see you in a bit. What's the registration number? Go Charlie Mycoska Victor. Darlymore traffic, Golf, Charlie Mike, Oscar Victor entering and backtracking 1-9, Darlymore. Didn't know what the registration number was. I don't mind telling you. Number one. There's Barry White. I changed the voice on Sky Demon. And I've now got Barry White telling me where to go, which is nice. I don't mind telling you folks. I'm a little bit nervous. I've got butterflies in the tumbly. I have kind of done this the wrong way around really when I think about it because I've bought one of these wings and now having bought one I'm going to test fly one. I hope I like it. I honestly have no idea how this thing is going to behave um, so I'm going to get right to the end of the runway, give myself as much runway so if anything does happen I've got more room to sort anything out that I need to sort out. And I apologise in advance if I swear a little bit, that might happen. Right. Right, visor down. Full power check. That's full power. Right, let's send it. This was one of the worst takeoffs I've performed in a long time. At this point, I was so nervous uh, and I was apprehensive and I tensed up. And as a result, I was over controlling the wing rather than just letting it fly. I was putting in huge corrective inputs into a wing that was way more responsive than I was used to. And that is what was causing these oscillations that you can see. Uh, and this didn't go unnoticed from the ground. And 
Now he's going up as well. Look! Look! He pushed out of the way. What was your brief to him, Ben? I didn't. Oh, I had a nice time. Standard brief. Far forwards, the houses get smaller. Far back, <laughs> the houses get bigger. First impressions. Oh my god. I think I'm going to get myself up to a safe height before I do anything um, adventurous. Ah, I'll tell you what, the first thing I've noticed is in terms of pitch, if you pull or push on the bar you get a lot less resistance than I'm used to. On the Fox 13 TL wing it wants to fly at a certain speed and if you want to fly faster or slower than that it can do it but you've got to put some effort in on the control bar. This Oh my word It's so light in pitch Wow So I've got very little instrumentation on my Bivy B so in terms of airspeed and climb rate and all the rest of it I'm a bit limited but my um, my motor monitor is telling me that I'm climbing and I'm not at full power but I'm climbing at three and a half meters per second I'm not sure what that is eight feet per minute so that's with me 100 kilo suited and booted and the black ball so 235 cc black ball 33 brake horsepower in terms of roll, wow. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. In terms of roll, you do need a little bit more effort on the control bar to initiate a roll than I'm used to on the Fox 13 CL, but I was told that that was the case. I'm just trying to work out what sort of engine RPM I'll need for straight and level with the Bivy B and this wing. With the Fox 13 TL wing, the black ball spinning a 1.4 meter prop is spinning at around 5.5, 5, 5, 5.6, so 5,600 RPM to keep me straight and level. I am now flying straight and level with hands off trim speed and the black ball is spinning at 6,200 which I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised about I thought it would be having to work a lot harder than that how that will relate to fuel burn I don't know once I've got my wing and I've been able to have a bit more time with it I'll be able to figure out what the fuel burn figures are and be a little bit more scientific about it this is just a first impression I mean this wing has been flown with a Moster a Moster Viterazi Moster, um, 25 brake horsepower and it's flown quite adequately uh, with that uh, engine. Granted at full speed you, you, it, there wasn't enough power to stay st uh, straight and level. I've not done a full speed running in this yet, I don't know if I dare. Right, now I have got a bit of a tailwind. Um, I'm seeing ground speed figures that I don't normally see. Holy moly, this is fast. Ground speed, 89 miles an hour. 90. Ground speed, 100 miles an hour. Oh, that's enough for that. I've got a feeling that this wing is going to be an absolute game changer. Let's see what it's like in the stall. So, power off. Just power off stall. To the front strut. There it goes. Recover, power on. Stall's very similar to my Fox 13 TL. 
not a big event really. Oh, it's so light and pitch. You pull the bar back, there's no effort required to pull the bar back, and the minute you do, the speed just piles on. It is a bit bumpy down here. Holy moly. Well, first impressions then. Oh, wow. Am I glad I bought one? Absolutely. Can I wait for it to arrive? No. Would I recommend it? Yes. What I would say is if you've got um, if you've got a, a license, an MPPL license, and you're flying a uh, an SSDR, a BVB, or an Adam or something as an SSDR, I would seriously consider seriously consider getting one of these. It flies slowly as well. It's not just a pocket rocket. If you want it to fly slowly, you slide this bit of pressure forward on the bar and you're flying, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I've got an airspeed in the case, but you're flying slower and there's so little pressure on the bar. Look, it's one finger. It's bonkers. And again, if you want to fly fast, slide pressure forward. Ah. On my Fox 13 TL, you may have seen videos of me flying and I've got the bar pulled in and I've got my arms over the top and I'm holding it in to try and speed up to catch up with people. One, I don't think you're going to have problems catching up with people in this thing anyway, but if you do want to fly faster for a prolonged period of time, it's going to be a lot easier with this wing. Just straight down. Whew. Right, we're gonna try and land this on the short runway. God almighty. I'm speechless, absolutely speechless, which is a bit of a shame really when you're doing a vlog. My word! Seeing you coming down there. Oh my god, that was quick. Jesus. <laughs> I've never seen three figures on the ground speed on this thing before, but I turned around and went back that way and that's it. you can do it with one finger, just pull it in. There's no there's no resistance to changes in <laughs> had fun then. Oh mate. Are you holding back expletives because you're on I'm camera? trying to, I'm trying to, but the are building up. <laughs> so I, I take it you didn't like it then? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Wow! You went ballistic mode at one point. Say again? Yeah. yeah. Mode. Down now, the speed you were doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How's your visor? I tightened it up before I went. I got it. I got. I tightened these 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 like friction bits. I tightened them up as as tight as I could crank them up. So it's like you're not moving. And I used the straps underneath this suit for the first time. I've never used those before. <laughs> what straps? Low straps. These things here, because I, I remember what short. Mark said, he, the, the thing I'd about had his jeans off, and I thought, well, that's not happening to me, so... <laughs> but, happy? Oh, that doesn't even begin to describe it. Um, it climbs absolutely fine with, you know, with the, with the black ball. Um, but yeah, you, the minute you just pull this in the slightest bit, the speed just builds up so quick, before you even realise it. So. Would you say I was exaggerating on any of the information? No, I gave? no. If anything, I think you were you, playing, you were it, down. playing it down. Did you fly it slowly? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 again, it's 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 like that. 
it's really nice isn't it's it? so light in pitch you don't have to you know it is heavier in roll like like you said you have got to put more a bit more effort in to initiate a roll but it's, um, it's like it's more on rails <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah yeah when you're straight lining you don't you don't have to put much effort in yeah so i said it cuts through turbulence yeah so we're all going to go for a little bimble so did you want to go in no I need, I need a drink <laughs> <laughs> Well done, no, I'm going to go put this away. Awesome. Like, got to get one of these, get one of these. An hour after this flight, I was still trying to process what had just happened. And I very reluctantly had to give Ben his wing back. Wow. For the kit. <laughs> for the kit. Just saying. <laughs> so, uh, so Paul. Yeah. You know, uh, you're putting your current wing back together, your Bivy, your Bivy B, your Fox TL. Yeah. So, uh, did you want to give the wing back? Not really. No? No. Anyway. It's going to be a bit of a uh, bit of a change. Yeah. From going. Did, did Ben forcibly take the wing back? He kind of said that was part of the deal of the loan. That was the concept of the loan that I have to give it back. So, yeah. I, I reckon I could have him. I reckon you could take him. I could yeah. take him. Yeah. I'm bigger than he is. You're bigger than he is. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Just got to make sure there's no witnesses. <laughs> So you've asked me to ask you questions about the nine as we've we both flown straight. it. Yeah. Um, you've got a bit of a silly grin going on. I know. There. I can't get rid of it. It might, it might be, it might be the wind that's caused that happen. Yeah. That happened to my face. Um, so, so relating back to your reaction and, and probably edited out or bleeped out expletives. Be, yeah, I'm gonna have to learn how to do that bleep thing, aren't I? Because I swore yeah. a bit. <laughs> I couldn't help it, honestly. I mean, all, all, all serious aside, uh, you know that that was the first time I've flown. Um, where is it? It's gone. He's taking it away, just in case. Uh, it's the first time I've flown that wing. I didn't know what to expect. I was a bit apprehensive because I've done it arse about face and bought it before I even tried it. Um, Do you think it's a worthwhile purchase now you've flown it? Absolutely, yeah. Um, what, was it, what was your ground speed at one point? 100. Doing a ton? Yeah, yeah, and, and, and there was more. Yeah. <laughs> but I got scared. <laughs> so, oh, uh, uh, it's a game, and it, but, but the other end of the spectrum is it flies slowly. You, it, it's weird having that full roll control all the way to touchdown. Yeah. You don't lose any roll no, control. No, 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 all, all, all the way. Um, uh, almost, you know, to, to the point where you're practically installing, you've still got full roll control. Mm. Um, it genuinely <sighs> takes a bit of time to process everything that's happening. Yeah, yeah, I'm still thinking about it now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to talk, you know, talk to you, and all I'm doing is I'm thinking in my head, oh, remember that bit when it went really fast? <laughs> No, it was absolutely bonkers, but it, it's um, oh, a, a different kettle of fish altogether. Different kettle. You of can't fish. sum it up in a sense. No, you can't. You can't. No, I summed it up in a word again. I said, oh, but I'll bleep that out. So. <laughs> <coughs> right then. Yeah. Any last points? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. And the other one beginning with F. <laughs> These bums, Willie's fannies. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in. <laughs> so, there you go, folks. Um, uh, first of all, sorry for all the swearing. Uh, I really couldn't help it. I think it's fair to say the Flylight and Aeros 9 wing had a bit of an effect on me. Um, if you are interested in getting one, then I would say probably best that you don't hang about because I've got a feeling that the Flylight and the Aeros 9 factories are about to get very, very busy with orders. So, if you are interested, I'll put the details to Flylight in the description below. So, get in touch with them. Uh, when I get my wing, and I can't wait for it to arrive, but when it does arrive, I will do a video of the unboxing, uh, and I'll also do further videos showing in a bit more detail how the aircraft rigs uh, and de-rigs, and I'll do a bit of a walk round, and I'll do a video with a bit more detail of how the wing flies. So if that sounds like something that you would like to see, then you know what you need to do. That's it from me. I'll see you on the next one.